Hello and welcome to the class. Today we will talk about the Excel, uh, how to use actually the balance sheet once we are doing the case study, we need to analyze the different financial statements. So, today we the topic is the balance sheet case study in which we would be talking about the real balance sheet of the different companies that how actually balance sheet is being done being prepared by the different companies which show their financial statements and which usually attract different investors to invest in their company. See this financial statement is showing the Amazon this we have taken for the Amazon company and the data which we have taken for the analysis that is the 2015, 16 and the 17. So, we can say that it is a comparative statement in which we are actually comparing the growth, the decline one by one for each year starting from the 2015 and till 2017. So, here the very first thing is talking about the net product sale. In, uh, in the very first year, it is being recorded like 79,268 and it is being continuously growing. As you can see, in 2017, it has been recorded like 118,573. So, we can assume, we can see that it is clearly in the growth position. So, this net product sale is continuously growing is continuously growing. Similarly, we will check other things also, other particulars also that what they have shown in their balance sheet, in their statement. Net service sale is, it is also continuously growing. They are showing that in 2015, it was recorded like 227,738 and now it is in 2017, it has been recorded like 59,293. Similarly, by this, by these two, we have calculated the total net sale. Obviously, when they both are increasing, it will be obviously increasing. Now, we will talk about the operating expenses. These are the expenses actually which need to be uh, arise at the time of the development of the uh, business or at the time of once you are uh, continuously developing in your business. So, for the continuous operation for day to day operation these are the different expenses which daily on the daily basis uh, routine they exist. So, the very first is the cost of sale we can have a look at that it was 70 recorded at 71,651 and now in 2017 it is 1,11,934 it is also in the increasing rate. Similarly, the expenses are also increases at the sale has been increased. It is very obvious thing. Once you are making more product, once you are delivering more product, once you are providing more and more services to the customer, that time your expenses will definitely be increasing. The fulfillment, fulfillment is actually expenses uh, in which you consider all the packaging charges, all the play, all the things which we need to starting from the collection of the order till the delivery of the order, whatever the expenses is being there in the Amazon company, they need to, they, uh, they are actually considered as the fulfillment expenses. It is also been increasing continuously as the business is continuously growing. The marketing they are spending now more money on the marketing, on the technology and the content. Now, they are, it is uh, continuously, it is also increasing. Journal and administration expenses and the other operating expenses, they are also having a rate of tendency of increasing. As we know that the sale is being increased, <laughs> from 2015 to 2017 or oh, it is very obvious thing that the expenses would definitely grow up. Now, we will talk about the operating income. We can see that there is also a rate of increase in the this operating income also interest income and interest expenses is also recorded like increasing and this bracket is showing the value of in the negative means your interest negative interest expenses is 4, 5, 9 means it you have given these interest. Other income like expenses and net is like we have sum up it. Now, income before income uh, income tax. 
uh, actually it is also known as a profit before income uh, interest and tax we can uh, write it down like here e b i t e i t e b i t means earning before interest and tax but here we are taking only the in before the tax only so it is also increasing the provision for income tax which we have made that is also increasing but in 2017 it has been dropped down equity method investment activities is also less spending is there and net income our net income is continuously increasing the most important part is net income is continuously increasing the dilute earning per share is the value of share we can see that earning per share is 1.28 in 2015 and it is been increased your eps has been increased earning per share has been increased and your diluted earning per share is also being increased as compared to the 2015 weighted average share used uh, in computation of earning per share is also been recorded at increasing order increasing order and so by this format this is you know this is what this is your consolidated statement for the operation what it means consolidated means you are considering two or three years data along with each other to compare that what is the better situation currently is, uh, is it is is it good for currently it is the good situation or uh, there is some kind of deficiency is there so it is always good com uh, compare 2 3 4 5 years you can compare and by this you can actually check the real picture of the company that how the company's expenses are going on how the company's income is going on so uh, starting with the very first thing for a start for starting the balance sheet it is not always that you are going for the balance sheet in the very first attempt for the balance sheet you need following things you prepare the trading account by the trading account you would be considering you would be actually in the trading account you are taking all the direct expenses and by this you are getting the gross profit or maybe the gross loss but it is the gross after this balances we are preparing the pnl statement or pnl account where you find out the net profit or net loss and you are including all the indirect expenses in it indirect expenses are those expenses which are the indirectly growing your business by this balancing figure we can uh, we would be able to get the net profit or maybe the net loss actually these this is the balance which need to be transferred in the once you are preparing the balance sheet this state this trans this will be transferred to the liability side and it will be sub uh, if there is loss then we would be subtracting it from the capital or if it is profit then we'll add it to the capital in this statement once you are preparing the balance sheet we prepared uh, we actually consider two things one is your liabilities and other one is your assets all the assets you are supposed to consider here in one hand and here you can consider your current li liabilities your fixed liabilities as well as your capital in this we consider your current assets and current uh sorry fixed assets you take the current and fixed asset here by this there is no balance once you are preparing the balance sheet there is no balance remaining or they would there you would not be getting any balancing figure why so because it is assumed that your all the liability should be equals to your asset or we can say that your all asset should be able to fulfill your all the liabilities and if Uh, it is in the same manner then there would not be any balance remaining means what that your all liabilities would be paying by your all the 
assets so it would be a balancing uh, balance between the assets and the liability and by this you will get the situation like that you are in a wonderful position and your company is in a wonderful situation that so that your company can be you know go growing continuously in the growing position so once we are talking about the income statement which i have just shown you before the slide that income statement provide a look on the company's financial performance throughout a certain period why the certain pre period we are considering here because certain period means you are considering it for one year not more than one year every year you are supposed to prepare the balance sheet at the end of the uh, financial year that is 31st march so it is a duration for the 12 months which is starting from the 1st april to the 31st march usually a fiscal quarter or a year this period is usually denoted on the top of the statement whenever we are starting any statement whenever we are writing it out uh, you are supposed to first write the name of the company then you write the uh, that uh, time duration that uh, period of the financial statement for which you are preparing it the income statement contains information regarding the sale cost of the sale operating incomes and other expenses in the income statement we'll get the incomes how we are generating the income that is the sales the cost of sales your operating expenses and other different expenses which are helping you in the generating the sales so by this there are some points there are some uh, ma major terms which need to be which need to be elaboration which need the elaboration so the very first thing which i show you net is net operating income we need to calculate here so net operating for calculation of net operating income we are preparing the statement that is a statement showing the net product sale and the net sub sale by combining it we are getting the net sales so by this joint of this this is the summation 79268 plus 27 Uh, 1738 that it total comes out 1 lakh 7006 similarly for the other years also now what will we do uh, we'll consider all the operating expenses cost of sale fulfillment marketing technology journal administration other operating expenses and net total operating expenses we have written down all the expenses here for 2015 this is for the 2016 and this one is for the 2017 So the summation of this is one lakh four thousand seven seven three. As you know, uh, that once we are calculating the income, we need to uh, subtract the loss, or we need to, not the loss, we subtract the expenses. So for calculating the operating income, what we are doing, there would be total net sales minus total uh, total operating sale. sorry total operating expenses whatever expenses has been done for the making the sale so for this it would be like 107006 minus 104773 and it will come out 3 here 3 here this will be 2 and again is this 2 this is your operating income for 2000 15 similarly we'll do the same calculation for other years also for 2016 our total is 135987 135987 minus 131801 subtract this you will get 484186 means 4186 is the income operating income for 2016 the same pattern we'll do for this last year also 177866 minus 173760 <clears throat> it will come out 4106 so how we are calculating the operating income once you are preparing the income statement here you are considering all the expenses and all the sales means the total sale the net sales which we have done and now we are subtracting it there are few points which need to be understand or we can say there are few terms which we have used in the income statement that is net product sale what is net product sale it is revenue derived from the the amazon products sales such as 
Amazon first party retail sales and the proprietary product. For example, Amazon Echo. Net product sale, what the sale actually they have? Revenue. Net service sale is revenue generated from the sales of Amazon service including the proceed from the Amazon web services and the subscription and services etc. These are the services which services Amazon is providing as we all know what kind of services they are providing and these are the net product product it is the income or it is a sale from the which we are making out of the sale of product and it is the uh, net sale which we have uh, done by selling the services. Cost of sale cost is directly associated with the sale of Amazon product and services. See while you are delivering in the goods or delivering in the services you are supposed to put the cost here. So what we are doing we are calculating the cost for the sale for the product as well as for the services because we are selling both the things. For example, the cost of raw material used by the manufacturer Amazon product is the cost of sale. What raw material the people are using for producing the goods. Fulfillment expenses are relating to the Amazon fulfillment process. What is the uh, process what they uh, include in this that is storing, picking, packing, shipping and the handling customer services for product. You all know that how we deal in the Amazon uh, that we are ordering, we are placing the order. So once we are selecting our, uh, we are putting uh, our product into the cart means there are somebody who is looking after all the things once we are placing order the uh, we are paying online all the things need all the need things actually having the system uh, administration for this this is actually service this is they are providing you facility this is all service but once they are delivering you finally they are um, they have taken your order considered your order they started storing picking packing and shipping of the and they finally they hand over this to the customer also and if there is any problem means if the customer is not happy or if there uh, any return or any uh, complaint is there they have a customer centers for this they are uh, they all are handling the customer inquiries uh, maybe for the return maybe for the late delivery maybe for the defective products so they have they all this is all the services they are providing so this fulfillment expenses include one to all means they are including the storing picking packing shipping and customer hand handlings moving further this is now uh, to in net income how we are calculating net income see we have taken the interest income that is increasing in rate this is for the 2015 this is for the 2016 and this one is for 2017 this is the interest expenses in the bracket we show the negative value rather than marking negative we are what we are doing we are keeping it into the bracket so uh, after this we get the total uh, if other income is there then we have already written here it could be your income it could be your expenses when we are put putting into the bracket it is your expenses but once we are showing it without the bracket it is showing you that it is your income total non operating income or expenses is this is 665294 and 300 so it's not income it's actually our expenses uh, what we are doing here we are taking the income before income uh, tax so this is this was our income and provision for taxation was made 950 1425 and 769 equity method investment activity for net tax has been taken like 22 it is uh, again it is the negative value this 96 and this 4 how we are calculating this this expenses would be make a total of this and you will get this out of this you will get the figure like 596 for 2015 2371 is for second year that is 2016 and for 2017 you are getting 33033 this is your net income now we will calculate the earning per share earning per share, per share means what is the earning of the company for every share every single share what is the earning ok so the net income was this which you have just seen which we have actually calculated 
and the basic earning per share was mentioned by this and diluted was this 1.25, 4.9 and 6.15. The weighted, uh, these, this is your weighted average share used for computation of earning per share, the basic was this and the diluted was this. This is how they are showing this uh, statement, this income statement and their earning per share while this is actually breakup of your income statements. Uh, that how they are showing that what is their earning per share, what is their total expenses and what is their uh, total income. Financial statement balance sheet that the first statement we look uh, at with our financial statement example is balance sheet. Actually nobody is going for checking your trading account or PNL account. Uh, every company is interested to publish the balance sheet and though they actually they publish their PNL and tra trading and PNL account also income statements also because somewhere it is also useful to drag out the information once you want to know about the income and expenditure things of the company uh, but most of the time the balance sheet show the real picture of the company where you actually including all the assets and all the liabilities. So, the very first statement is the balance sheet. The balance sheet shows the company's asset liability, stockholders equity and this spe specific point of time. I will show you that the statement is being drawn like once you are preparing the balance sheet, suppose we are preparing the balance sheet for ABC limited as on today is 20 or suppose this is March. So, it would be 31st March and 2020 because 21 is still awaiting 31st March. So, here we are writing the liabilities. This column is always for the amount. There would be assets. This would be your amount. So, the very first thing you will write here is the capital or you can write also write the equities. Maybe they have break given the breakup equity, the uh, 10 percent debentures, 8 percent preference shares, your long term loans. your current liabilities like creditors, bills payable, bills payable, your outstanding expenses, outstanding liabilities, overdraft. Many other things can be here, but this should be the liability. See, the capital is giving the breakup of equity shares, debentures and the preference share. What is the method to read it out? Once you are checking the balance sheet of any company, what is the method to read it out? See, somebody is giving the capital in just one uh, column means the total capital, but uh, some people are, some companies are actually showing the breakup of the capital also means how they have raised their capital. The equity shares are actually, they are the shares which is distributed among the shareholders, among the owners of the company and the people who are purchasing this, uh, these shares actually known as the owners of the company. They have a voting right, they have uh, the, uh, the right to attend the board of director meetings and they also participate in all the decision makings of the company. But when we are coming, it is uh, and according to their investment pattern means how much you have invested, they will get the part of the profit at the end of the uh, year accordingly, only accordingly. So, they will get the dividend once the year is ending, they first, uh, they would be the last people who would be attending their, uh, who would be getting their income at the end, once they, are pay, they paid all the expenses and all the liabilities. Here you can see the 10 percent debenture I have written, what is this 10 percent being mentioned before the temp uh, debenture. Actually this 10 percent is the interest rate, this is known as the external equities because we have taken the uh, debenture is a kind of loan. Once you are asking the money from the public and you are issuing the debenture, so it is also, uh, it is always mentioned that what kind of, per what percentage you are giving, means what interest rate would be there. So this 10 percent is showing the interest rate on the debentures. Second 18, suppose 8 percent preference share, 
preference shares are the another form of the shares that one is the equity share and another one is the preference share similarly they will also get the dividend but they always get the preference at the time of the uh, receiving the money they always get the preference but they do not have any voting rights they do not have any ownership in the business they don't participate in the board of directors meeting but they they the only thing they having is that they actually having a preference whether the company is in loss or in profit the debenture holders and the the shareholders never they are not concerned about it because they need their money as because they have invested their money and they do not have any liability for the company for whether it is in profit or it is in loss so the very first priority goes to the preference shares the second priority goes to the debentures holders by the predetermined interest rate and the dividend rate dividend is being given to the shareholders and the interest is always being given to the uh, debentures but uh, and other are the long term loan if you have taken any bank loan so uh, these are your current liabilities in the asset uh, side we include your fixed assets and your current assets what are these these are the maybe building machinery furniture and so on and the current uh, assets could be your debtors cash in hand and cash at bank and many more so the balance should be always equal if the balance is not equal it means there are some deficiency while preparing or while transferring the uh, your expenses so this is the combined consolidated balance sheet which just i have shown you the way that how we are preparing that was the t format this is known as the vertical format of preparing the balance sheet usually once companies publishing their balance sheet they use the vertical format here they have firstly written all the assets and the liabilities and the stockholders equity so i suppose it would be very clear to you because i have already explained this thing uh, your current assets your cash and equivalents marketable securities inventories account receivables and your total current asset is this is your current total current assets and the property this is your fixed asset so goodwill and other asset the total is there and the finally it is our total asset similarly we'll having the we having the current liability here the total of current liabilities your long term and other long term liabilities and as you can see that the stockholder equity is being divided like the by according to the share preferred stock means your uh, preference shares it is being mentioned like 500 shares was there and common stock was this the outstanding share was this treasury stocks additional paid up capital accumulated and comprehensive loss retained earning the total of secure stockholders equity so this is the total of the asset now check total of current asset is this and total of current uh, all the assets uh, liabilities are this so your assets are equals to your liability which is proving that your balance sheet is uh, prepared carefully and there is no uh, misconception or there is no any there is uh, none of the uh, uh, thing has been done wrongly so this is the again a second case study for the this we have taken the sbi bank case study the balances are being given and the comparison between the 2019 and the 20 it is the latest one on the similar pattern we have drawn it as we have done so rather than going in the detail i just show you the percentage change that this is the percentage means change means that they are both are same here the percentage change is this and absolute percentage change was this and this is the percentage change how it has been changed we are showing the changes in the percentage it is the, the changes is in the positive sense because it was 195 and it is 207 Four zero three three one four thirty nine thirty eight nine six seven and one zero four six. Similarly, for the other also means it is continuously growing. 
we can compare the same thing with the other years also 16 17 18 19 and 20 now we have accumulated all the details and by this format by this format you can actually analyze that actually the uh, sbi bank is growing or declining so we can see that there is a positive change of 114 there is a 144 change 97 3869 181 and the 206 so this is the total change uh, for more reference actually you can refer to the sn maheshwari book or you can actually find out the different balance sheet on the websites of the company for which you want to do the analysis uh, the more the best method to understand this interpretation of the balance sheet do study more and more balance sheet which is being given by the different companies on their uh, website for if you having any query any doubt you can write me at minu.balian at the rate imsec.ac.in for this lecture that's all uh, thank you so much